What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I appreciate each and every single one of you for taking the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. Everybody, we are diving in and taking a look at the Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, Bola Solutions, fairly new to the market. This is a Korean based brand, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, quick disclaimer, this was sent to me. Uh, so this is a sponsored video, but it was not sent to me by Bola. This was sent to me by Chris over at Carzilla. And uh, this was just included in a lot of products from Bola in a care package that he sent me. Uh, and once again, shout out Chris over at Carzilla. But my Honda needs a maintenance wash. I thought the perfect time to clean up the wheels and tires would be using this. Um, it is a wheel and tire cleaner. It says two-in-one wheel cleaner, tire browning remover right there and it's got five star or five squares five squares five squares there effect power and speed now you guys i gotta touch basis on this the wheel and tire cleaners okay there's a lot of wheel and tire cleaners that are coming out i see a lot of people getting upset that they don't clean wheels that great you guys wheel and tire cleaners are not designed to go after hammered wheels that have embedded brake dust that need three rounds of iron remover. No, that is not what wheel and tire cleaners are designed for. They are designed for wheels that are semi-maintained, that people wash every other week, even monthly. Um, something that gets cleaned semi-regularly. Uh, that's what wheel and tire cleaners are for. For those that have businesses that see maintenance clients every two weeks, you don't need to hit it with the whole kitchen sink to clean the wheels and tires, guys. If you're we're washing your cars once a week, that's all you need is a, um, a wheel and tire cleaner that's not very aggressive, it's not very powerful because your wheels and tires are maintained. Now, they're not designed to go pull this car that's been sitting in the field for four years and pull it out and use a wheel and tire cleaner to clean. No, you're gonna need something more powerful and more effective for that and that's what you gotta understand. Wheel and tire cleaners are designed for a maintained, semi-maintained, decently maintained, wheel and tire so let's get that out of the way uh so like i said uh, i got my honda out here it is in desperate need for a maintenance wash especially the wheels and tires it's been raining like crazy here you guys will see are they absolutely trashed and hammered no they're not but this is a perfect time to utilize and test a wheel and tire cleaner because this is exactly where i would use it so i'll let's get out on the honda i'll show you guys exactly what the the wheel and tires look like and We'll see what this stuff can do. Alrighty, folks. So here are the wheels and tires on the Honda, as you guys can see. Are they absolutely terrible? No way. Do they need to be cleaned? Absolutely. These things, these things are filthy and disgusting. This is exactly what you want a wheel and tire cleaner for. So I'm going to get you guys set up on the tripod and uh, we're going to clean this with the Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner and we'll see what we can get. All right, everybody. So I got you guys set up here on the wheel and tire. I've got my Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner here. Now, one thing I did notice was when I put the sprayer head in here, it only went down. The tube only goes down to like here. So you're not getting the bottom of the bottle, which I don't know why. I looked through the sprayers and they were all the same length. So. Um, and I can imagine because this bottle was the tallest bottle of them all. So I can imagine, I can imagine that, but you guys might want to think about extending that, uh, that tube a little bit for these taller bottles. Um, so we got the, uh, wheel and tire cleaner here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a rinse off, especially since I'm in direct sun. It's a little bit warm, but for any of you guys. You don't ever want to spray any kind of wheel or tire cleaner, doesn't matter what it is, on a hot wheel. So make sure you give it a rinse off. And what that's going to do, not only is it going to, it's going to help cool a warm wheel, um, and it's going to help with uh, some kind of maybe etching or anything, what kind of wheel and tire cleaner you're using, but um, you don't ever want to spray it on a hot, dry wheel. So just keep that in mind. Instantly, I could see it. Whoa, okay.
So instantly I could see it doing work on the tire, as you guys can see there. Let me zoom in a little bit if you got if you so you guys can see. Oh yeah, we've got some browning on there. Definitely got some browning going on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wheel and tire brush. You guys, I apologize for the traffic. There's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna spray a little bit into my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a scrub down. Now, uh, there's some of you out there that might say, well, why don't you just read the instructions? Well, honestly, because I can't. I literally don't, I cannot read Korean, and I'm assuming that's exactly what it's in, assuming it being a Korean brand, but yeah, so. Gonna, now, I'm not noticing much suds at all, which doesn't mean anything, technically. But uh, not noticing much suds. All right, so we got that. Go ahead and grab my, my tire brush. Give the wheel a... Doesn't really have much of a smell. Nothing crazy. Hopefully I'm not blocking you guys. I'm trying my best to stay out of the picture, but... And some of you guys might hate that I'm not getting the barrel, but the way these wheels are designed, it's almost impossible to get the barrel in there. All right. Go ahead and give it a rinse off. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna take my leaf blower here and I'm gonna dry this off. Of course, I'm gonna fast forward it and take the sound out so you guys don't get blasted your eardrums out. So, all right, so not bad, not bad. Let me bring you guys in. As you guys can see, actually did a pretty decent job. Pretty good job on the tires. Tires look clean. Now they're they're scuffed up. Don't worry about that. That's just because when I rotate them, eventually um, this tire used to be on the right front. It's just been through a couple rotations, and that's met the curb a few times uh, thanks to the wife, but. <clears throat> We're not mentioning that. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, um, tires look great. They really do, huh, buddy? Got my, got my main dude back here. What do you think, buddy? Good. Looks good. All right, looks good. Yeah. So, I mean, as a maintenance wheel and tire cleaner, they actually did pretty good. I'm happy with that. I mean, to be honest, can't you can't expect more out of a wheel and tire cleaner, there, guys. So. Let's uh let's get into some final thoughts on the Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner. All right, everybody. So we're jumping into a quick final thoughts segment on the Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner. Now, um, I know we didn't talk about it much in the initially, uh, but we're talking about price cost uh, over at Carzilla. You can get this for fourteen ninety five for a bottle. Now, honestly, that's really not that bad uh, considering the size of the bottle that you get. Um, I'd assume. I'd assume you could do at least four sets of wheels with this. I mean, easily, easily, maybe five, depending on how much you use. Uh, but then again, if your wheels aren't that, you don't need that much. Just like my on my Honda right here, I did not need that much at all, and it took care of it. Now, this is safe for your wheels if they're painted. 
um, aluminum, aluminum, chrome, powder coated. This is safe for all kinds of wheels. So it's a, it's a really safe formula, but it's effective formula. You guys got to understand, once again, when you come with the all-in-one tire and wheel cleaner, uh, they're not going to be aggressive to the point where they're going to be dangerous on wheels. That's why they're safe for our wheels, but they, they are safe and effective on a wheel to an extent. And um, this is absolutely plenty for what I need for any of my vehicles. I mean, any of my vehicles. And, and it's been two and a half months since I washed the Honda, the Accord. I have two Hondas, but it's been over two and a half months since I washed the Honda and it took care of the wheels and tires. No problem. So that goes, that's a good gauge for you guys to know um, exactly how well this stuff works. I would recommend it for sure. $14.95 um, for this pretty good bottle. It's, it's 100 milliliters, uh, 33.8 ounces for $14.95. I mean, that's really not that bad. I mean, I would order it from obviously Chris up at Carzilla because I want to support Chris because he's a, he's a great guy. Uh, I'll leave the link to this down in the description at Carzilla for you to check it out. Help support the small business. Um, great guy, great cause. And uh, you guys always, always hear me say it's the people behind the products. And uh, he's not even, he's not Bola, you guys. He just sells Bola, Bola Solutions. So when I said this was a sponsored video, well, it was sent to me. So I have to disclaim that it was sent to me but it was not a paid review. <laughs> I don't get paid for reviews, guys. I promise. Uh, but yeah, Bola Solutions wheel and tire cleaner. Fantastic maintenance wheel and tire cleaner. I have no issues with it at all. It doesn't foam up very well on the tires, but as soon as I sprayed it on the tires, you could see the browning instantly. Uh, so it goes to work right away. Fantastic maintenance wheel and tire cleaner. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description down below. I want to take a second and I want to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. I hope all you guys out there have a fantastic 2024 and a great rest of your day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching. And I'm going to catch you guys all on the next video.